Welcome to Alaska! Alaska is one of the last great frontiers for adventure travel in America, and the best way to explore it is by ship. We took an uncruised adventure to get off the beaten path and witness the untouched fjords and wilderness of this beautiful land. Let's go on an uncruise. There are many advantages to taking an uncruise because it is a small ship and there's only a maximum 80 passengers. Many of the uncruises even have less. The great thing about it in Alaska is that you can get into a lot of places that other big cruise ships can't go. We're coming up to the John Hopkins Glacier and this is very rare because a lot of the larger ships can't come up here and it actually just opened up in July, on July 1st. And it's rare to come on up here because the harbor seals have their puppies. We're very lucky to be up here witnessing this glacier. Being on a small ship allows the captain the luxury of changing the route with the weather and the wildlife. Our first day on the SS Legacy was rerouted to Glacier Bay as it was the best weather of the trip. We traveled through Johns Hopkins Inlet where several other glaciers led the way to the massive 12 mile long Johns Hopkins Glacier. That's where we managed to get up close and personal with nature's beauty. Next on our journey is South Marble Island. This place is known for its birds, especially puffins, and whales. Oh my. And flew. Well, when there is a good fluke, the whole crowd is excited, and that was a good fluke, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Another advantage is that all activities are included. You don't have to go and book tours on your day trips. You can go on the skiff, you can do kayaking, you can go bushwhacking, you can go hiking, you are, you are obviously whale watching. There's a lot of things you can do here and that's what makes each day so unique and fun. We're all suited up and ready to go kayaking here on George Island in Alaska. Let's go. All right, we're in our double kayak here and we're ready to take a beautiful day of kayaking here on George Island. Hi, Deb. Hi, Dave. Wow, what a kayak already. We've seen bald eagles, we've seen a sea otter, and now we have two whales right in front of us. And I forgot to mention, we've seen the Brady Glacier. It's just spectacular to be surrounded by all of this vast nature. As many of you probably already know, Dave and I just love kayaking to explore the wilderness when we're traveling. Really, there's nothing else like it. And I think that the polar regions in Alaska, it's the place to do it because it's just filled with wildlife. Well, it doesn't get much better than this day. We saw it all. We had the opportunity to kayak nearly every day, discovering different bays and inlets while searching for wildlife above and below the water. Each morning, the crew scouts the area looking for hidden waterfalls and wildlife. They know how to read the glacial terrain, keeping passengers safe while giving us all a great adventure. Wow, that was awesome! Well, we are having an amazing day just booting around Dawes Glacier here with amazing deep blue icebergs and great people on the skiff with us and we're just having a blast. What do you think, Dave? 
wish you were here. At least I bet you do. Skiff tours operate nearly every day, allowing you to cover a lot of terrain. And it gives you a lot of opportunities to see wildlife and get up close and personal with icebergs and glaciers. What a day. Uh, but you can feel how nice, dense, and heavy this is. <laughs> um, go to a few other places. It's not every day that you get to pick up ice that came from a glacier up here in Alaska. I'm gonna lick it and taste it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too salty though. It's very fresh. Could be a little ice this is you could use it like this is fresh water. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get everyone. Oh I didn't get everybody. <laughs> I only got a few people. <laughs> they also keep you very entertained and informed when you're out on the water. <laughs> How was it? Now that's the way to have peppermint schnapps. Mmm, ice. Oh my god! Crazy! We're just gonna coast right up and over with them. Wow! Wow, that was pretty amazing. We're now riding the waves of a calving glacier. Wow. Okay, just go on. It's interesting how long the waves last, right? Like you think maybe just one big wave would come by. Just yeah, way. no, it sets up quite a bit of a pull. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look at it hitting that one back there. Each day on our uncruise has been completely different. One day you're going up to a glacier, the next day you're looking for bears or seals or whales. We saw some orcas last night. You'll be kayaking one day on the skiff the next day and going for a hike another. Every day can be as adventurous or as relaxing as you choose. On board, there's a lot of things that'll keep you busy. They have every night talks from the experts about the flora and fauna of Alaska. There's a hot tub where you can go relax. There is an open bar, which is fantastic. So you have cocktail hour and happy hour where you have some snacks and the meals are outstanding, prepared by a chef with wine pairings. So you can't beat that. Well, when you're doing a cruise with Uncruise, you have to come up at least once to the bridge to see the captain at work. This is where all of the magic happens, where all the whale spotting, where he's navigating the icebergs and the glaciers and the high seas. It's uh, very cool. All right, it's time to check out where all the power comes for the SS Legacy here. We're going to check out the engine room. Unlike larger ships, you have access to many behind the scenes activities on an uncruise. We not only got to peek into the bridge, we got a galley tour, and when the ship was moving, we were allowed to pop into the engine room. It was really cool seeing the engine room, you know, not a lot of ships allow you down there to see how everything works. And all of that is operated by one man. There are also opportunities to get off the ship. Bartlett Cove is an interesting stop to learn of the local Clinklet people. We have landed at Bartlett Cove and it is a really historic place here in the park. The Clinklet people have made a longhouse, a traditional longhouse that they reopened on the 100th anniversary of the national parks here in the United States. And this is all about starting the healing relationship between the Clinklet people and the national parks. This building's really amazing because it's all been carved by hand. Love to smell a cedar. So if you're looking for a cruise to Alaska or a, trying a cruise, I think this is a really great way to start. There are many activities to keep you occupied. We made great new friends and we created shared memories that will last a lifetime.
If you enjoy our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell to receive notifications. We share new travels each week and we don't want you to miss a thing.